So somehow this, I guess, flew under my radar. American Chavez cast. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I need to. Um, there's an asterisk. It's, they don't tell you it's her. Right. It's that situation. <laughs> but it's her. <laughs> so it's it's Chavez. It's definitely Chavez. Was this the one young actress that I saw, but I wasn't sure what it was for? A cast for MCU role. I was like, I don't. I yeah, don't know. she's like fourteen. So my whole thing the other week about wanting actors and actresses that are you know not minors, kind uh-huh. of out the window. <laughs> Just like, oh, cool, we've got like a twelve-year-old, which is a bit weird for Chavez. She's not that young, especially when you look at Steinfeld and everyone else. Uh, hmm. you know, I say, I say everyone else. You look at like people like Steinfeld. You look at um, Cassie Lang. I can't remember who's playing that. Like they're all like twenty odds, and this girl's like nine years younger. It, it reminds me of a uh, the Titan situation when they cast Raven. Everybody was like, "Dude, this actress is like twelve. But then by the time the first season hit, she was already older, and the second season, she's already looking like high up in her teens. So maybe that's their goal: is like, look, we can introduce her. She's younger, and by the time she gets into more projects, she'll be like eighteen, twenty. Yeah, right? like I, I think proof. I think that's I think that's the plan. It's very much like she's not going to have a major role yeah. in Multiverse of Madness, but you know, we should doing a, a movie about the multiverse, and you're doing Young Avengers. You'd be kind of silly not to have the alien that has multiversal powers be yeah. produced in that movie. So there you go. Hmm. There's this whole thing that people have been on. Oh, She's you no, know, she's not the right race because America's Afro Latina or Latinx or whichever one it is. I'm not sure. Uh-huh. And it's like, well, America's, you know, she does specifically say in the comics that she identifies as Puerto Rican. She's mm-hmm. an alien, yes, yep. but she's found Puerto Rican culture, so she's just Puerto Rican. Right? Just to settle that one, like, it's not. Unless there is the Afro Latina bit in there, then I stand corrected. But as far as I'm aware, she has said Puerto Rican. So. I mean, but. yeah. So I just looked her up. Yep, that's the news that kind of passed over my head. I I saw it and I automatically thought, oh, that's got to be Chavez, and that's why I moved past it. Like yeah. I was like, guy. Right, it's so yeah. Um, you know, I'm cool with it. It definitely sounds Same. like Same. the second movie is going to be insane to say the least oh yeah it's it's like what even is this movie at this point yeah i just my big want is can they please confirm like baron mordo or something having a bigger role because i really love the actor and i love that character apparently there's also stuff about brother voodoo being in this one jesus christ (laughs) Uh, there was some mcu twitter page that i saw someone retweet and it's like i think it was all like brazilian but it's like you get those Brazilian and the Indian sites, and unfortunately, yep. they're, they're never the actual ones, or they always make stuff up. Yeah, really yeah. Weird. So I was looking at it like, eh, I kind of don't believe it, but no one else kind of ran with it, so I didn't like, pay attention to it. But there's apparently, and it would make sense, his brother died in the first one, setting yeah. up that whole thing, so we could see that happening, but... And there's going to be a lot of stuff in this. At movie. this point, Multiverse of Madness sounds like they just threw every like idea they had into a blender in regards to a multiverse and what they wanted Strange Two to be, and just said, "Yeah, Raimi, pull it off." <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, like, I, th- I think the, what people need to remember as well is it's not going to be like five hours long. We're not going to spend a lot of time in these multi- multiverse oh, yeah. universes. No. It, Let's say hypothetically they get Tom Cruise as Iron Man and we have like the whole faceless mask thing, which there is a suit now that does look like that. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you, you go to that multiverse for five minutes and right. then you're off. No, you just do stuff like that. It, or it, even it, like, a, even, even if five minutes is the max. Like, right. It would be the crisis on infinite earth scenario where it's yeah. cool callbacks and references and hell, they could put it into the plot where Dr. Strange is like, any multiverse we stop in, the time gap shrinks. So we got to be quick to what yeah. we do. Like, you mm-hmm. could work that into the script and be like, look, so the first one, we spend 15 minutes in it. The next one, the moment they zap us wherever, we got 12 and then 8. So, like, you can structure that in there and have it make yeah. sense. And I think that's probably the best way to do it. But whatever they have, honestly, for this movie, I'm getting hyped because I love... The first film, I think, is criminally underrated. Like, it's... Oh, 100%. That third act's fantastic. Oh, it's my one God. one of the most unique ones I've ever done. 
fact, yeah. yeah, I'd say it's like the, the most unique one I've ever done. It, I, I mean, yeah. Like, the way they handled that third act with the fight and him outsmarting and the way they handled the fight on the street, like, it's so different than most comic book movies. It just sticks out. Like, it's mm -hmm. highly underrated. Just great movie overall. Um, So, I guess we'll see what happens with the uh, next one. And uh, when we know more, which should be rather soon, I assume. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, yeah, because it's starting soon, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, <laughs> hopefully we'll find out more soon.